All right. Um, the offering this morning is for, let's see, today's the 12th, uh, Heritage Community Christian School. Uh, so, yeah, if you could uh, consider uh, cheerfully and carefully how God is leading you to give, uh, the offering plate will be available at the back after the service. But uh, please also continue to pray for Heritage Community Christian School. Uh, there is a lot of growth that is happening there, which is uh, something with, uh, for which we praise God. Uh, there is also uh, a lot of, <laughs> it's pretty full in there these days. So if you can pray for um, just capacity and for, uh, for flexibility and for all those things to work out well. Um, and of course, also strengthen staff and volunteers and students and so on. Uh, it always, uh, as you get through uh, the school year, uh, things get stressful around Christmas because the kids are a little bit more wired than normal. So if you can pray for them, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. In terms of congregational prayer, um, just wanted to highlight that uh, Charlotte is doing quite a bit better. In fact, she's here with us this morning. Hi, Charlotte. Yay! Um, so uh, please continue, of course, to, to pray for her and for everybody in our congregation who is, uh, is struggling with any kind of chronic illness at all. Um, but also, uh, this morning, we want to uh, pay particular attention and pray uh, for all of those um, in the U.S. particularly who have been uh, devastated by these, hurricane, or these tornadoes that happened uh, just last night. So let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much again for this day, for bringing us together. Thank you for this time of Advent which is a time of waiting in so many ways, waiting to celebrate your birth, Jesus, so long ago with uh, Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and so on. Lord, we are so grateful that you sent your Son to be our Savior, to be our King. And through his own humility and obedience to you, to serve us. We are humbled by that, for we know what, that we do not deserve. We do not deserve that kind of love and self-sacrifice. And so, Lord, we stand in awe and we ate, wait with eager anticipation for that celebration of your birth. But then, O oh Lord, we also wait for your return again. As you, you, Jesus, who have gone to prepare a place for us, as you have promised to come again and judge the living and the dead and recreate this earth so that all is good and there will be no more sorrow and no more pain and justice will reign and you, O oh God, will live with us. And so, Lord, we wait eagerly for that, hearing and knowing that all creation groans as with the pangs of childbirth. Lord, we can hear those groans in the devastation of weather events like what happened to so many people in the United States through these tornadoes last night. We ourselves felt a tiny taste of that wind. And Lord, it was quite something. Lord, be with those who are looking and surveying the damage, who do not have a house or a business or a church. Lord, be with those who are grieving whose loved ones have died as a result of this. Lord, be with those whose loved ones are still missing and their well-being is unknown. O oh God, please, may they be found and restored to their families and loved ones. And be with them, O oh God, 
as they rebuild. May we, may we contribute in whatever way that we can. Lord, we pray this likewise for those in British Columbia and Washington who are, who are working on digging out and, and rebuilding after the flooding there so recently. Lord, we pray there too for comfort and strength as they seek to rebuild and continue to assess the damage. Lord, we pray... We pray that you will be with all of those in our congregation who are struggling with illnesses of any kind. Lord, we thank you that Charlotte is feeling quite a bit better. We pray, O oh God, that you would bless all of those among us who are struggling with illness with healing. For we know that you are a healing God. Lord, we know that you choose to heal in many different ways and we love it, O oh God, when we can see and recognize your miraculous touch in the lives of those who are healed. But we also stand in awe of the body's own processes that are in themselves miraculous gifts of your love. And so, Lord, if you choose to heal through the body's own workings, O oh Lord, we praise you for that as well. And Lord, we stand in awe of the gift of our minds and abilities to create and to think and to solve problems and puzzles. And so, Lord, we praise you for the abilities of doctors and nurses and other healthcare workers as they too seemingly miraculously go about the work that you have gifted them to do. And so, Lord, if you choose to heal through medical intervention, we praise you for that as well. And Lord, ultimately, we know that all of us and this whole creation will only truly be fully healed when we are reunited with you, risen from the dead, following in the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the first fruits of the new creation. And so, Lord, if you choose to heal by bringing us home to be with you, O oh God, we praise you for that as well. Here on this earth, O oh God, and at this time, we praise you for love. We praise you for the love that you give us. We praise you for the love that you have poured out upon us. And we praise you for the love that we may extend to ourselves and to others around us. We praise you, O oh God, for the love that you have given us for this beautiful creation. And Lord, we pray that you will enable us to live in all three of those loves fully and truly. May we love you, O oh God, with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We, may we love our neighbor as ourselves and may we love this creation and care for it care for it as you have called us to father we praise you for the love between spouses and we thank you so much for john and debbie's 40th and for all of our marriages we praise you also o oh god for the love of children and parents, grandchildren and grandparents, for the love of brothers and sisters in Christ, for the family of God here in this church and throughout this world. Lord, we pray that as we seek to raise children in the way that they should go, that you would bless Heritage Community Christian School and all those schools throughout the world that seek to teach you in all that they do. Lord, bless these tithes and offerings. May they be pleasing in your sight. And Lord, guide us, we pray, as we come to your scriptures and the message. Thank you for all that has led up to this, for the worship and praise that we could offer unto you through music and prayer and scripture. Lord, guide us as we listen. Open our hearts that we may hear what you would have us hear and guide us 
into your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.